table you're going to need cable clamps and I actually didn't use the screws or the screwdriver I used nails and a hammer instead it was easier you're going to need a large basket and then a wooden round and also some wood stain so you're gonna start off by staining your piece of wood and this is completely optional if you like the color of the wood you can leave it as is but you can basically just follow the instructions on your wood stain you just need to take a clean cloth and just like evenly spread out the wood stain and then I also decided to go ahead and seal it with a matte sealer just because I didn't want it to have a glossy finish so it would match with my other furniture after you let that dry you're just going to place the basket on top of the wooden round and these cable clamps are meant to be used with screws and an electric screwdriver but mine just wasn't strong enough to get the job done so I ended up just using nails and a hammer and honestly I would say just go for the nails and the hammer it's so much quicker even if you do have an electric screwdriver just make sure you don't hit your nail like I did several times in this video but you're just gonna repeat that process on each of the clamps just to secure the basket to the piece of wood and after that all you have to do is just simply flip it over and your new table is all done I love the way this turned out Marble coasters, you're going to need clear bumpers, gold gilding, a painter's tape, a paintbrush, and a marble sample. Now I will link where I got this marble sample down below. They only cost a few dollars and they're honestly super nice. I'm probably going to make way more of these. So all I did was tape off the edges because you're going to add the gold gilding and you don't want it to get on the top. So you're just going to go ahead and paint that along the edges. You can also use gold paint. I just found that this was just a lot more vibrant and the gold just stood out a lot more so just do that let it dry and then after that you're gonna remove the painters tape and you will find that there might be a little spots where the little um, gold may have bled through just take some alcohol on a cotton swab and it comes right off then you're just gonna flip it over and add the bumpers because this is a marble sample you don't want it to scratch any of your furniture after that you're all done with your new marble coaster for the next DIY you're going to need a feathers a canvas paint color of your choice a paintbrush and a hot glue gun all you have to do is align the feathers where you'd like them to go on your canvas and just flip them over and use a hot glue gun to glue them onto the canvas and it's pretty simple that's basically all you have to do and it dries kind of instantly so I wanted to add some text to the bottom so I had my friend Tiffany help me with this because my cursive writing is a little rusty and she did a really good job of this so she just wrote be free on it in the acrylic paint and after you let that dry this is what your canvas looks like so those are the diys as always they're really affordable and super simple to make hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching my twitter and instagram will be linked down below make sure to follow me on there and i will see you guys in my next video bye